Ex-boyfriend labeled a person of interest in a Jacksonville woman's murder in Atlanta is in custody a year after the crime. Jokeisha Brown was living in Atlanta trying to start a career as a model and an actress when police say she was murdered. Channel 4's Eric Avignier joining us from the South Bank with this new development tonight. Eric? Well, Kent, it was here at Friendship Fountain in the South Bank just nine months ago when family and friends of Jokeisha Brown held a vigil in her memory. Fast forward to today when we learn her boyfriend, who was wanted in connection to her death, was taken into custody. Alfredo Capote is now in custody in Louisiana, charged with the armed robbery, rape, false imprisonment, kidnapping, and aggravated sexual battery of 35-year-old Jokeisha Brown this time last year. Investigators say Capote raped Brown in her Atlanta home with her son present, then kidnapped her, took her to a hotel where he raped her again. The next day, police say she was able to escape and get help from a stranger. Just three months later, Brown was found murdered inside her Mercedes outside a beauty salon. Capote was named a person of interest in the murder. Brown was well known in her hometown of Jacksonville, graduating from Rebolt High School. Keisha! We love you! Keisha! Oh, God! Her friends and family gathered for a vigil just days after her death, saying she was a kind and uplifting person. Now, Capote was arrested in Shreveport, Louisiana, on charges of on a on charges related to a uh, counterfeiting scheme. He remains locked up on a six hundred thousand dollar bond, and at this point, it's unclear when he will be extradited back to Atlanta to face charges in the Brown case. Reporting live from the South Bank, Eric Avenier, Channel Four, the local station.